Hi, we're here at AGBT Marco Island, Florida. We've just completed the Iron Torrent workshop for this year. I'm with Alan Williams, who's our VP of R&D, and we're going to ask him a few questions about how we're doing on uh, evolving our iron platform. Yeah, thanks, Andy. So uh, it's been, a, I would say, a really great AGBT for us this year. Uh, really excited about the things that we've already launched kind of coming into the meeting. Uh, I think a big one for us has been uh, HiQ chemistry, which we announced last year, and we announced a, a pretty big tech access program to that. Uh, but what we've done over the last year is really taken a lot of feedback from that broad tech access, really refined the product, and uh, we're able to launch that coming into this meeting. So uh, we now have HiQ chemistry out for both PGM and Proton, and both out on the OneTouch 2 and the Chef platforms and uh, really has uh, driven down our error rates quite a bit. Okay, uh, and so the feedback, customers just love that product. And how are we doing on uh, P1 and of course P2? Yeah, so P1, uh, as I mentioned, the HiQ chemistry on P1, which is the most of the HiQ launches, is the most recent, so that just essentially launched this month. Um, and uh, what we're doing additionally within R&D that we shared at AGBT uh, is improvements to the chip and the micro well and some sort of uh, uh, related improvements to the system as a whole. And what that allowed us to do is to really push the read length and accuracy out on the P1 chip. Uh, and so where you've done a number of, for instance, human frag uh, genome uh, runs on the P1 chip where we're getting a nice 400 base reads at 99% plus raw read accuracy and uh, yeah, just really great results out of that. 30, you know, on the order of 30 gigs throughput off a single P1 run. Excellent. And so that, the, the really cool thing there is if you, if you have a sample, you put that on three P1 chips and suddenly you've got a really nice 30X uh, human genome uh, for less than 3,000 bucks. So Fantastic. That's and P2? Yeah, and then P2 really uh, is the, uh, the most exciting bit. Uh, for us. So uh, we came here last year uh, with lots of progress on P2, but uh, we had gotten the chip in and uh, the data rates of that chip just were not going to sustain what we needed uh, in order to have a viable product. Uh, so the chip design team really went back and did a phenomenal job redesigning that chip. So we've had a new chip in hand uh, within R&D over the last month and uh, the chip came up right away. Basically, you know, we're able to pull data off at five gigabits per second, which is just a phenomenal rate. That's each individual link on the chip running at five gigabits yeah. per second. Uh, and so we're you know, essentially high def, you know, live streaming of movies, essentially, yeah. uh, those movies being Proton Incorporation, uh, or Proton released through Nucleotide Incorporation uh, off the P2 chip. So, Links are running great. We've actually shown we can even push higher uh, than what we're currently running at. We shared uh, P2 data for uh, self maternal cell-free DNA mm -hmm. uh, uh, applications, uh, the AmpliSeq transcriptome application, as well as the RNA-seq application. So the chip's going to be good for counting type applications? Yeah, so we're focusing for the initial launch primarily on counting applications, uh, and then we'll continue to push out the read length and insert size and accuracy into other applications in subsequent releases. Great. And uh, how, any improvements in the workflow coming that we should hear about? Yeah, so briefly shared about work both uh, in my talk and then uh, one of the other uh, presenters uh, uh, discussed work that we're doing to automate uh, the AmpliSeq library prep on Chef. So you've already got a Chef automation instrument there. You can now essentially do eight samples uh, through an, an AmpliSeq library prep, uh, normalized and pooled. Uh, you can then take that sample into automated template prep and chip loading on the Chef. Uh, and then sequencing. So really nice workflow that's uh, almost fully automated. Yeah, streamlined. Yeah. There's a lot of interest in uh, the peripheral monitoring research space of liquid biopsy. Anything, mm -hmm. there's a few things you talked about there. You wanna yeah, so uh, we have a great partnership uh, and have a liquid biopsy platform. So it's a really nice automated platform. Allows you, essentially comes with all the stabilizers needed. So you, you know, extract say seven and a half mils of blood. Uh, everything to stabilize uh, tumor cells in the blood as well as cell-free DNA in the blood uh, is a part of that kit. Uh, that can then go on to the automated uh, liquid biopsy platform and you automatically get essentially a fraction for 
uh, of uh, circulating tumor cells, a fraction for the cell-free DNA portion, and then essentially germline DNA out of the white blood cells. Yeah. And uh, the really nice thing is, you know, that sits uh, is a really nice package up front of the ion system, where you can then take either the cancer hotspot panel or, or essentially any AmpliSeq custom design panel uh, and be able to uh, enrich for your particular regions of interest and then sequence that on the ion platform and, and essentially call down to 1% variance uh, in a really robust manner uh, with very low starting material yeah. on that platform. Great, that's a fantastic set of improvements. Thanks, Alan. Yeah, terrific. Great. Thank you.